and welcome to this GraphQL series. In this series, we are going to make something with the GraphQL, Apollo, React and of course the MongoDB. So let us see what we will be building in this series. So let me show you first of all, um, we are going to make this and we are going to use the GraphQL and the React. So here is the GraphQL docs. This is the GraphQL. Describe your data and ask what you want. In actual, it's just a query language, just like, you know, REST APIs for firing queries to different servers, to the servers. It's just like that. We're going to use React.js for the front end part of the application. And we're going to use the MongoDB Atlas for storing all our data to the database here, MongoDB Atlas. And you will be using Apollo client and this for integrating our GraphQL and React.js together so that our React.js can fire queries to the GraphQL server from the front end to the back end. So this guy over here can query with the GraphQL from the front end. So with all of these we will make this app over here. This is a movie maker where you can see all the movies and if I reload you see all the reloading movies. I can add the movies individually. And these are currently all my movies with name, and genre, and the year. So if for now, if I can add a movie, this is a form. You can add the form by name, genre, and year. Name is John Woo. The genre is action. And the year, let us say it is 2088. So let's add the movie. And now you see the movie has been added. So this is what this form does. It adds a new movie with the name and action and then 2088 the year now here is a search form you can search the movie with the title or the name okay so we'll be using the graphql documentation over here so you can see we have a javascript and this is all the documentation about graphql and how to use the graphql and start the graphql apollo server so we will be using all the documentation over here and the apollo documentation over here to get started with our application so you will see in this playlist what is graphql how the graphql works why graphql is better than rest apis we will use react.js for our front end part and we will be using the mongodb atlas for integrating the database with our back end now this was all the documentation part and in this playlist we will discover more about graphql and apollo in the next video, I will show you how to start with the project by making a simple header and footer for the project. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.